In this series, we're looking at the performance characteristics of three 44 caliber projectiles for cap and ball. Uh, in the first part of this series, we looked at the 140 grain round ball, which of course is on the left. And in the second video in the series, we looked at the 220 grain cast Lee conical. And in this episode, we're going to take a look at the bullet on the right, which is a 240 grain conical round nose flat point. Uh, designed by someone uh, who likes to go by the handle, Kato Ojama. And we're going to be looking at his bullet next and seeing how it stacks up against the other two. Here's what we're going to cover today. We're going to look at three performance characteristics of these projectiles. We're going to look at velocity, we're going to look at accuracy, and we're going to look at penetration. So let's get going. And we'll be using this Uberti 1860 Army revolver as our test bed. Well, the final bullet that we're testing is another conical, and this is a 240 grain conical as opposed to the 220s that I cast up. This is a custom designed bullet by a friend of mine who wants to remain anonymous because of his profession. So he just wants to go by the nickname Kato, and we'll, we'll honor his anonymity. Uh, this bullet actually loads more easily in an unmodified revolver than mine does. So we'll show you how that goes. Now I'll tell you, if you were going to use these all the time, you would want to make the modifications I discussed. But it is easier to get it in without doing that, and we'll load it on the gun. So first, I'm going to get a 30 grain powder charge. And you could go up to 40 grains if you wanted to use this bullet for hunting, and Cato really did design this as a hunting bullet. I cap up the, uh, the flask, and I'll dump the powder in. And I'm going to put the bullet in. Now this is still a little bit tricky, so bear with me. But it has a more rebated base than my bullet, so it's easier to get it started, which allows you to get it past, uh, kind of past that hump there. So we're in, and I'm just going to send it home, and we're good. So I've already loaded the other four, so all we need to do now is cap it up, and we're good to fire. So let's take Kato's 240 grain conical and the, the 1860 and uh, see how it does on target. And Kato's bullet did very well.
Okay, let's check the velocity on Kato's 240 grain conicals. Cato tells me that he hunts with a 40 grain powder charge under the 240 grain bullet in an 1860. So let's give that a try. And I'm going to tell you, 40 grains, I almost could not get a bullet seated. I mean, I had to really push. So I think 35 is the max that you ought to use. But I've got a 40 grain charge loaded up, and let's see how it does velocity wise. All right, as you can see, that 40 grain charge under a 240 grain conical gave us a whopping velocity of basically 900 feet per second. Uh, but the bullet really can't fit with that much powder, at least in, in my Verde Colt. So I wouldn't fire more than one of these in it. Uh, but it is pretty interesting. Okay, let's run the uh, penetration test on Kaido's 240 grain bullet and 30 grains of powder. Now I set up 13 jugs this time. I don't really think I'm going to get that deep a penetration, but just in case. So let's see. Kato's bullet lodged in the ninth jug. It just couldn't get through. It actually almost got through. It broke the uh, the back skin of the jug, but the the plastic of the tenth jug it didn't have enough oomph to push all the way through, and it rebounded back into the ninth jug. It's fantastic performance from that bullet. Well, here's a summary for Kato's 240 grain bullet. Accuracy at 15 yards was two and a half inches. The velocity was 724.9, which, which is higher than the 220 grain conical with the same powder charge, even though it's heavier. And, and that's because there's just more resistance, more inertia, makes the powder burn more efficiently at a higher pressure. Uh, it turned in a muzzle energy of 280 foot pounds, and it fully penetrated nine jugs and was really trying hard to get a tenth, but it just couldn't quite get there. Uh, really spectacular performance from this bullet. And here are the overall results of performance for the three bullets that we tested. Uh, as you can see, the, the conicals outperformed in just about every category. Uh, the round balls are very convenient to shoot, but if you really need these for serious business, conicals are the way to go.